The trial is underway for Zachary Gaskill, who is charged with second degree murder in the 2016 death of well known architect Kirk Blunk. Local 5's Dana Serrells is following this case and brings us how we got here. Dana. Stephanie, the defendant Zachary Gaskill has some inconsistencies in his stories according to the court documents. Now, back in 2016, Kirk Blunk was found in the staircase of an East Village building with multiple injuries internally and externally. Blunk later then died from multiple blunt force trauma wounds from falling from height. Now, before Blunk was found, court documents say he texted his wife 911. After that, Gaskill tried to get in to a locked room that Blunk was in. Gaskill first claimed he was at the up down bar in the building and was looking for a bathroom. Then he said he was waiting for an elevator to get down. However, after talking to witnesses and looking at evidence, court documents say investigators came to the conclusion that Gaskill knew where the bathroom was and there was no elevator on the floor him and Blunk were on. As time progressed, our defendant would say different versions. The story would evolve and each story's evolution began to turn Kirk into a worse and worse person. What I ask of you is that at this point is merely that you listen critically to all of the evidence. Gaskill also previously claimed he was the victim in the encounter between him and Blunk. Investigators found that claim was another inconsistency. Now, Blunk's wife also took the stand today to talk about that 911 text that she received before he fell down the staircase. I'll have more on that tonight at 10, but for now, live outside the Polk County Courthouse, Dana Searles, Local 5 News. Dana, thank you.